Questions and comments of the Honourable Member for uh, Cordial Burney. Oh, Mr. Speaker, 42 years of finger pointing is not getting us anywhere. We could see that tonight. Now, I want to talk about solutions, and I've been working closely with Catalyst Paper in Port Alberni, and I got to say, this is a mill that has a ton of history. My grandfather worked in that mill. They're so proud of what they're doing. They've uh, refit their, retooled their machines so they can do food grade paper. Uh, they also have brought forward an innovative idea to change the uh, clean investment tax credit. Uh, portion of the Income Tax Act, which was supported in the fall economic statement, Mr. Speaker, and it's a technology involved in biomass conversion utilizing low-grade uh, and wildfire-prone wood residues that are otherwise left to decompose in burned forests or landfills. This renewable resource offers an accessible, affordable, clean energy source for Canadians, helping to meet Canada's climate and emission reduction uh, uh, commitments, Mr. Speaker. And it'll save mills like the one in my riding up to $10 million a year. But we would need legislation from this government to come forward this fall, at the latest, to get that moving. Through you, Mr. Speaker, will the Conservatives, instead of pointing fingers, will they support this proposed change in legislation, which will protect jobs, protect workers and do the right thing when it comes to uh, using uh, waste residue in our forests. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for North Okanagan, Shushwap, about 20... I, I want to thank the member from Port Alberni uh, for his, the question. I used to enjoy working with him on the Fisheries Committee. Uh, his question is about, is about legislation I haven't had a chance to read yet, so I can't say yes or no. I would support that. But what he just talked about is clean, affordable energy from wood products, um, I want to refer to the fact that a, a number of years ago we put in a pellet stove, a wood pellet stove, uh, took out the old wood burning stove, put in the pellet stove, because pellets were pretty r affordable at that time. A, a ton of pellets, 50 40 pound bags, were about $165. They're no longer affordable. They're over six or seven dollars per bag. A ton now costs in the neighbourhood of $400. Because of what this government has done and sold so much overseas, instead of looking after Canadians, we are paying the price. And that's just not, not just me. There are thousands, of, if not hundreds of thousands of others across the country paying higher energy prices because of this government. 